Yeah, he can look better of a solution. Call this big guy school board meeting to order. Please rise and join the Pledge like Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Anderson? Present. Vaderford? Present. Kutcher? Present. Holstein? Present. Yaris, present. <coughs> Rabish, present. Tubi, present. Seven, present. Well, I guess I don't have to make comments other than everybody keeps asking me. I had surgery on my hand that's <coughs> tough to deal with when you, that's your writing hand, but uh, maybe the weather's changing. I kind of thought that I thought it last time that we got <coughs> uh, Moving on, any adi uh, additions, deletions, or changes to the agenda? Move to approve the agenda as printed. Or yeah. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to add discussion items item B, which to discuss the board type. A little bit more. Maybe we can scooch things around. Yeah. Okay. Other discussion? Motion support motion to approve the addition. Or mm -hmm. all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, nope. Uh, now on to the consent agenda. No. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I missed the uh, yeah, move down. Community comments on the agenda. With the addition, done. Okay, now on your consent agenda. Mr. Chairman, make a motion to approve the consent agenda and pay the bills totaling five hundred and fifty thousand fifteen dollars and fifty-five cents. For motion to support any discussion. Yeah, not in roll call. Vaderford? Yes. <coughs> Anderson? Yes. Kutcher? Yes. Holstein? Yes. Yaris? Yes. Ravish? Yes. Duby? Yes. 7 0. Okay. Okay. Paul Jackson. Thank you, President Duby. Um, first, I wanted to congratulate our, our high school athletic department. Uh, we had two district tournaments um, the last two weeks for basketball. It was amazing. Uh, two weeks of basketball in our gym. Our staff worked very hard, uh, and it was a success. If anyone was around on Friday night for the girls' championship, the district championship, it was packed. You know, I mean, there were a few spots available, but it was loud. And as I was walking out, people from both sides were telling me, thank you for hosting. It was great, um, which that credit goes to Mr. Huber and Woodruff and Mrs. CISO and the workers, everybody that helped set it up. Um, I, I think all the schools that came in, we had thousands of people here, you know, over those two weeks um, that were here and everybody loved the facilities and it, it went off smoothly. So it was, was very good. Great to have the people here. Our calendar is in here and I wanted to mention that it does say tentative. And the reason it says tentative is we start before Labor Day. We have been. And that is still something that the MDE has to approve because legally we're supposed to start after Labor Day unless you have that waiver. Uh, and I don't know if it's three years or five years. Um, every so often you have to have that meeting with MDE. And that's coming up this spring where there has to be a representative from each of the ISD districts. And we have to tell them why we would like to start before Labor Day. And then they approve it or don't. So. I'm expecting them to approve it, but who knows, they could have some reason that they say no, and then we'd have to adjust it. So that's why it's tentative until that happens. Any questions about the calendar? Okay. Um, administrators, um, let's see, where are we? Oh, Mr. Temsey and uh, our strategic goals. We met on Friday with Mr. Temsey, and we went through 
the goals, um, the targets that we have to meet those goals, and we talked about who's in charge of them, who reports to me, and uh, who our partners are, what the timelines are for the different things that we're going to do. And he told me he would compile all of the information that that uh, we spent on Friday talking about those things, and then I would be able to present to you when we get that information and kind of give you a plan of where we're going and some of the things, the goals that we're going to do with all the information that you have been a part of so far and a little bit more from Friday. Questions about that meeting? Um, job fairs. I will be um, in Grand Rapids at the McCall Conference this Thursday and Friday. So we do have a Saginaw Valley job fair for educators on Thursday, and Ms. Heine has um, agreed to go be our representative there on that day for that job fair. Mm -hmm. But also on Tuesday, the Michigan Department of Education has a virtual job fair that I will be doing. I have a booth, it's called, um, that I will be virtually at where if students want to hop in and talk to me about King County Schools or being a teacher or staff member, that they can do that. So we've got a couple job fairs coming up in the next week um, that we can see if we get some interest first. And a lot of them are not students who are looking for jobs right now. A lot of them are um, a year away, I'm two years away. So it's good to get that information out there to those students. So when they do graduate, they know about us and they know our name, might be interested in us. Um, and the operating millage renewal. We have started the process to have our operating millage renewal on the August ballot. And we will need to provide accurate information for our voters on this. And what I mean is uh, the millage renewal is what's called a non-homestead property tax. Uh, businesses and those owning rental properties pay this tax, but if you are just a homeowner uh, resident in the district, you do not pay anything with this. Um, even for those that do have to pay it, the, those non-homestead um, owners, there's no additional tax. It's a renewal of what they've been paying. So um, this is also 13% of our operating budget, our total budget. So it's pretty important to us that we get this passed, um, which should be in, um, but we need to get the facts out there. We will not tell people what to vote, yes or no, that's not our job, but getting the facts out there is our job and we'll make sure to do that, have some stuff on the website, on our social media posts, and maybe even more information here over the next couple months until that uh, is ready to be voted on. And then the one last thing I just did want to mention is that, um, you're going to hear from Mr. Shemansky in a little bit about a possible bass fishing club um, for King County High School. I wanted you to know that I've been looking into this uh, with Mr. Woodruff uh, and Mr. Huber since the beginning of the school year. We have a, a young freshman named Will Zelensky who brought it to us and was asking if this is something we could do. Uh, there are a few schools around us that have this, and um, we have we had a meeting and a lot of turnout. And again, it's a club where the school will not have, you know, a lot. We, we don't have payments or anything like that. It's They use our name to be able to do some fishing tournaments, which is pretty cool where we can get opportunities for students to do things. Um, we like that, kind of like our eSports group. So Mr. Shemansky will talk about that. And if you have any questions, uh, we can talk about that with me. You know, you can send me a message or we can get some questions answered. But we're excited about that. So that's it for me. Uh, one quick question. Uh, other, other than the two, do we know of any other retirements or? Not yet. Okay. So no. two. Okay. Student representative. Uh, band the King County seventh and eighth grade band at King County High School. Symphonic bands completed at Michigan School Band and Orchestra Association District IS Festival Spanish. Sterling Central High School on Wednesday. Both bands received a top rating in the site reading portion of it, of the festival and an overall division second rank rating. Uh, robotics will be comp competing at the Traverse City District event on March 13, 14, and 15. And the Midland, the Midland District event on March 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Uh, student council collected 18 points and pints of blood at the winter blood drive on March 5th. The final blood drive 
of the year will take place in early May. Senior Poll Award sponsored by Student Council will take place on Wednesday, March 27th in the Middle School Gymnasium. The senior only event will feature the result the results of the senior polls conducted earlier this morning or earlier this year, as well as pizza, breadsticks, cake. Seniors will also have the opportunity to compete in the games with gift card prizes. Scheduling for the scheduling for the 2024 through 2025 school year begin this week. Counselors, counselors have met with all high school students and will be meeting with the middle school students in the near future. The boys basketball team was eliminated by Meridian 65 to 30 in the semifinals of the district basketball tournament. The girls basketball team by Valley Lutheran 47 to 9 in the opening round of districts. Spring spring sports tryouts will take place this week with the season officially beginning. The middle school student members will be visiting the central elementary second grade classrooms six different times in March to reach, to reach small groups of children for 30 minutes. The members of the middle school student council have been paired up those in second to third grade appropriate books either from their home, school, or local library to read to a group of four to five second grade students. They will also be taking over a coloring activity with them to do with their reading buddies. What, what, what's your name? No. No one? Pretty good, no one. Night. Okay. You're the next job? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, Minister staff. Yes, sir. So I think I'm going to give you a note. Just wanted to reflect on the hearing of your conferences. Uh, we're still telling up the numbers. A lot of you didn't show up, but it was a, it was a good session. Normally in the spring, you know, get it on, but it was uh, it was well attended this time. A lot of good flow with the parents. Part of that um, was some information that was given about our early college. We had a lot of parents show up for the early college meeting. And it sounds like there's a lot of excitement and bubbling on that. So it's really a good opportunity for our students. Um, interviews, we just recently interviewed a candidate for the industrial tech position. So Dr. Brown and I are working uh, on that and hopefully you know we can get something going with that very soon. Uh, Zello days, we had recently had a Zello day for the high school. And Zello is just our uh, EDP, our educational development plan for students. Um, it's a kind of our compliance tool for our EDPs. All students have to have EDPs. So we had Zello Day for our high school, and then our middle school is uh, next Monday, the 18th. So that we're looking forward to that. And again, kids go into the Zello program, and they kind of start on a career pathway, and then just progress through that throughout the throughout their uh, middle and high school career. So getting that uh, all finished up here the next week, and then as Mr. Kolchik said, uh, McCall conference this week which is a conference mostly centered around uh, technology, um, but there's a lot of other things that are there as well. Um, from what I've noticed from the sessions, a lot of it is AI related and how to use that effectively uh, with teachers and with administrators. Looking forward to that conference. Mr. Woodrow? Okay. Other administrators? All right, um, surveys are gonna be going out for the district just like we do every year. Um, this year, the state developed them for us in the My Student Surveys. And they'll go out to parents, um, students and staff just for climate culture, um, just like they do every year, and we'll get those back and review them. Uh, we have My Kit meeting March 21st, so that is coming up. Um, just kind of get us to the middle of the year, and then we'll have a follow-up one in May. Um, and then we're already underway with scheduling for state assessments for MSTEP, PSAT, SAT, all the dates are on there, and we're getting rolling on all of that, which can come a lot faster than, than I think we want it to be. Uh, last Thursday, we had kindergarten registration. Um, a year ago, we had 10 students register for kindergarten, and we ended up with 12 this year. Um, in our class, but last Thursday we had 21 registers, so we're really excited to be welcoming 21 new kindergartners next year and hopefully more. 
Uh, we had 25 kids register. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two. Yeah. Captain. Okay, uh, report from board committee. Site committee. Yeah, we reviewed four different projects and uh, we're all going out for bid. <coughs> Project one was the pump out over by this entrance to the by this uh, soccer field new soccer field that's uh, going to be replaced it's uh, beyond repair we also recommended to call check well for bid on the soccer fence with a couple different alternates either all the way around or three side fence that's to uh, control traffic flow from spectators and uh, prevent anybody from driving on the field the other one was a door numbering system. It's going out for bids to get a numbering system for the entire district for emergency response to have uh, quick access to any situations they need to respond to. The fourth one is a stage. We're going to make uh, the necessary requirements to make that stage accessible to anyone that may be in a wheelchair or have uh, trouble with stairs. Uh, that that one is the uh, most urgent that would be a summer project the only other item we discussed was the location of the new stadium scoreboard for the football field and the track that is not going off bid. that is covered by the boosters there's no cost at this time for the district and uh, we uh, at the boosters recommended location we agree with it it is between the that's right between the track and the fence. No, it's between the walkway and the fence. The know. outer fence. There's two fences. The outer fence, the walkway, and the, the inner yep. fence. The outer fence, yep. the walkway, north, end zone. If anybody want to see where it's at? You can meet me afterwards. I'll, I'll walk you out. If you know where the tent usually is for my like, right that's at homecoming, okay. it's right okay. there. Okay. For the apples, the cookies. Right in front of handicap parking. Okay, so yeah. we're already aware of that. We're going to have to figure out what we can do about the handicap parking looking underneath. So they're going to look underneath. Yeah, yeah. So you, you should. Be see they're going to look underneath. Mr. Mr. Encino gets a field goal. They might not be able to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Yeah, you said at this time, no, no cost to the school. That's correct. Are you anticipating? Mm -hmm. No, we're not anticipating okay. Do we have to run electrical lines? Oh, that's all part of it. That's all. They're covering yeah. everything. Yeah. Covering. Okay. Yeah. 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 The only no, basement. You know, I did not ask him, but I assume they're taking the cost of tearing down the old one. Wasn't brought up. I don't know. We we we've talked about ideas, but we haven't come up with a. There's no plan yet. Obviously, it will come down at some point. Do that, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Somebody wants this gal to was at their house. That's been brought up. Somebody from their basement would wake up, up, put it on the state, pay to take it down. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We might not put that out for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Down not into the, the non consent agenda of bowling. I make a motion to approve the bowling club to become Mercy Sport for, for the 24 20 school year. <laughs> yeah, I have a motion to support. Uh, any discussion? Now, as a club, that is no cost to the district. Is that correct? That's correct. They were the volunteer coaches. That is the primary change. And also, we're gonna we do offer support through our AD currently as a club, but there will be uh, some additional support as far as scheduling. I understand through the AD support. And with the new conference, it'll probably be included, you know, bowling currently isn't in, is not in a conference, correct? Correct. So with the new conference next year, they may be, so he'll be able to help. So that's one coach or two coach? It will probably be two next year because with the new conference alignment, 
there will be 12 teams, and you can't have 24 teams right. like boys and girls all at the same bowling alley. They're going to split them up, so one coach can't be in two places at once. So, so people, the numbers fall below a certain level, and they because the club will always but, be five. But yeah, yeah I, I don't, don't know, know because if they have five and five, five four and four, four, they're still in different spots at the same time. time. So, so that would be. No, I mean, if their numbers don't maintain sport level. They're Sport. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There have been times where we may not have a certain team. Yeah. And you already have co- they already have coaches. They will have to be interviewed now. Where people were not. So now there's some oversight as far as what that, how that program is run. More oversight. There already is. No one gave the impression there was no oversight. But a club is at arm's reach. And I did ask our coach how many schools. Our sports and not clubs, and she said, "All oh, we're the only one that's a club still that she knows." Of. So most our teams. Where, where do where do we play? Or where do we play? Midland. 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 Right okay, we use Midland. Yeah, the boys use Standish this year. Excuse me, the girls use Standish. The boys use. Okay. Okay. Any more discussion? Okay, hey, motion and support. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So that be, Does that have to be a roll call for me? And yeah, roll call? I think that should be fine. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to just get it on fields. Okay. It's only for one. It's set it up. Okay. Uh, on to. Wait, what do we have? Public house. Hey, public comment. Hey, see now, close that and move on to discussion items. Mr. Chemansky, racist material, fishing knowledge. Well, we had like 12 minutes that will. Where, how close is the tournament? There's one at like Burt Mullet. Okay. One at Home Lake, one Grand River, and then there's one more like at Torch Lake. So there's one okay. they got in the weekends. And it starts, it doesn't start till summer, pretty much till Memorial Day. And then through the summer, there's one each month. So, 
like, like for us, like the club, like one of the things that we were talking about, like they were be eligible, kids are going to be eligible, like the end of year, like college education support. And then if you're eligible, like the end of the year, then you're good at the summer. But it's going to be all the trainers and stuff, it's one, two, 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 and they're all in the end, like one, they don't go on the big wire, and then the full seat. You do a preliminary sign up? So yeah, yeah, we did. And I'm going to get a room full. Probably about like 40 kids show up. I think I'll have a lot of people sit here to do a class. I'll come along, study on what we know, but as of right now, I think we get a preliminary sign up with parents and everything like that. I think it was 11 or 12. 11 or 12 kids already. With five bowls. What's the age group you're talking about? This is all like going to be from high school eight, well, technically eighth grade, and this year, which would be probably next year to junior year. So if they're a senior, they're going to graduate and won't be able to come. So that's left pretty much for you. The next next year's freshman will be doing I do have one question. I don't know if they'll let me answer this. And it's just, I assume the students will have their own tackle boxes. Yeah, they all, they're. I don't. My concern is what's in the tackle box. My tackle box is a play in it. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if there's parameters within that where students are allowed to or not allowed to have knives, and if we have to adjust policy, I I just worry, you know, does a boat captain the only one who's going to have a knife? I just I don't know if they've already got policy for that yeah, to yeah, participate. But that's, that's, I, I mean, I'm all for it, but. Yeah. That's to be a concern. I, I know it's used for, but that's yeah. the element that we're in. So, you know, otherwise, why can't any other club bring a play in? So, <laughs> you know, it's more yeah. like anything yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. No, obviously, yeah. hooks are hooks, yeah. but right. something of that nature. That'll have to come from the basketball. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. and that's what I want to make sure it's coming over somewhere. Yeah. I, uh, I actually, I deal with this in the summer. Yeah, there's no beat this. She just took Eli with the coach. She said there's no night again. Yeah, I just got to say that. It's part of the match rules. Yeah, well, that's what I was wondering. So, yeah, the tournament's already got that in mind. They're going to check and make sure they're not allowed to alter the fish. That's why the night's not. Well, yeah. But I, I mean, so it was there by default. Yeah. You know, hey, it's like, no, I went yeah. fishing all weekend. Now I got to do a tournament. I just take the tackle box and go. I don't want to have. Oh, I don't yeah, want to do what you're saying. I don't want to put our because we have kids that do that go shooting over the the weekend and forget they have a weapon in the yeah. in the back of the car. Yeah. So I just I'm trying to avoid that scenario where we're trying to do something good and now we have to expel a student because they have a blade of six inches or something yeah. like that. So I just I'm trying to look out for the kid. In, in that scenario, so you need action on this now. Do you have any dates you have to meet? You, or play, you play it on they're gonna have the, phone, right? the end of the first tournament. Not, but they're gonna have a we're gonna have another meeting all that we can make go through. The, they have the parents come um, and they have a parent meeting with the parents to get that are have all their stuff signed up to get that when they start getting sponsorships and all that stuff rolling. So, yeah, they, they sign up. I mean, we know which. Kids are going to be a part of the group, but they sign up through. They sign up through. Through, they sign sign up through us, us, and then we then they'll well, then we get information to the BASS, and then yeah. I'll, then they membership for that, and then goes from there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've seen this stuff. It's, it's, it's the coolest thing. I mean, we do the college. It's so if you feel yeah. comfortable making a I'll, I'll make a motion to approve the Pink County basketball. Mm -hmm. And support. They got a motion to support. Any other discussion? I, I just could you get me in writing the policy about the no knives for that? Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, yeah. That, that that would be the only caveat yeah, yeah, for me. So I want something in writing that kind of covers it. So yeah, it covers the kids. So it's good. Any other discussion? No. no. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Uh, no. We had. Oh. Uh, so, right. So now I'm looking at just instead of going like 7 30, what about like 6? It's a little accommodating. You know, a little give and take. <laughs> so, would be anybody be adverse to that or I interested in that? I don't know. 
Because some aren't retired. <laughs> I don't think there's a problem with what we got no. It does look better to me if we got a bit of parents comment of the team they can get more interaction through an email or a phone call than they can with their formats here. This is not a discussion for them. So I know that point was raised, but right. again they're gonna get more action from a direct communication as opposed to the to the meeting. So if it's more convenient for you and, and your business, I, it doesn't really matter. Does it doesn't affect you at all? No. I, mean, no. I, can, you know, I can give you a 530, I can make your six pay and so that would like an extra sit down. Any other discussion? That's fine with me. So you, okay. you suggest a change in that for a motion on that? Yeah. I, yeah, I think it's five thirty to six. Yes, it's okay. And that's both of them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two point confusion. Yeah. Is it uh we're starting could it be done? Yeah, start next month. Next month. Start, we only have what, one more left this month. Yeah, okay. yeah, next month. Okay, so that's starting in March. March. April. Start April. April. Yeah, this is Board time, board meeting times. Do we have a second? Yes. Here. Motion to support. Any other discussion? All those in favor? I request a roll call. Oh. What's that? The request for open. Okay. Anderson? Yes. Yaris? Yes. yes. Betafer? No. Kucher? Yes. Holstein? Yes. Rabish? Yes. Duby? Yes. 6 1. <laughs> And Gary, yeah, and yeah. Linda. Yeah. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Now, you might be.